You curious how AI tools could make you more money, make your job easier? Of course you are, you're human, right? This is what everyone's looking at. Like, how are we gonna use AI to make our lives easier? Well, until this Skynet, Will Smith, iHuman, Hal's take over the world, until that moment, here are some simple ass ways you could use ChatGPT in this 2024 video to maximize your restaurant very, very simply. This is going to be used as a personal assistant to do a few different very cool things that is gonna save you a crap ton of cash and a massive amount of time. By the end of this video, you are gonna have the real things, the real prompts, the real things to do with AI to make your restaurant operations more efficient and easier. And if you value learning more about technology, also human life inside a restaurant and how to make more money with your restaurant, how to save more money, and all things restauranting from someone who actually owns 12 restaurants, 300 employees, seven brands, and does not suck, then hit subscribe, like, hit the bell, do all of that, and I will send you more videos every week. Because yes, that's right. My name is Mike Bausch. I am a restaurant owner like you. I own Andalini's Worldwide here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am also the creator of the Unsliced Restaurant System, a system for taking your restaurant to the next level through actionable strategies and real SOPs that I use personally, that I'm handing to you if you are an independent restaurant owner who does not suck, who does care about their staff, and I approve to be in my program. And before we get popping, in the comments right now while it's fresh in your brain, think of the thing that you hope AI can give you. All right, first thing AI can do, let's start slow, let's start easy. Get a ChatGPT4 or whatever the newest version is account, get that. 20 to $30 a month, whatever it is at this point in the game, to have a full-blown personal assistant that has all the info in the world. It is well worth the investment. The simplest, easiest thing you can do to start learning it is have it write some social media posts for you. But before you even do that, I want you to train your AI. So here's how you train your AI. Start a thread. A thread will memorize the things that you've talked about before in that thread. So in that thread, you can submit your menu. You could talk about your brand's voice. What does that mean? Hey, we're a restaurant that doesn't take ourselves too seriously, but we take our food very seriously. I want you to give a lot of 1980s references when you do jokes or just keep it very serious. Don't brag about yourself or ourselves when you make social media posts. Keep it all business. Kind of let it know what your style is. You can say, we're a very health-driven restaurant in Chicago. You could say, we are a fortuitous steak restaurant in New York. Or, we're a fun, easy, breezy pizza brand in Vegas. Whatever it is, write that down. Let it know what vibe you're going for before you ask it to start giving you content and answers. So now we've trained it. There's a lot that could be said about training it. You could even create your own GPT, which is where you take ChatGPT and load in tons and tons of content and name your own ChatGPT your restaurant's GPT. You find this by going to the little lines above, say create a GPT and go for it that way and load a ton of content in there. Before we even get to that though, just start a thread and start to talk about yourself and all the things you like. Even better, say, hey, ChatGPT, ask me 20 questions about my restaurant brand for me to be able to give you a good idea of what we're trying to accomplish with our social media. It will then do that, you answer those questions, and now it understands. Again, if you were to hire a social media liaison off the street and they came into your restaurant, you would still need to provide them some context, right? So give them context of what you are, what you're all about, and then let it work. So now we've set the stage. Now you can say, hey, here's a photo of a kid eating ice cream. Give me a social media post about it for me to use on Instagram. Notice I described the photo. I then said exactly where I want it to post. It might ask, do you want hashtags? Do you want to tag people? Let it give you what it gives you. And then here's the beauty. You're not done. You could be done if you want, but if you're like, ah, oh, they screwed it up. Cool, teach it what it did wrong. Hey. GPT, that's great, but I don't wanna ever have that many hashtags. I want the hashtags to be more focused on this. Or whatever you don't like about it, say it. What you do like about it, say it. Now in that thread, it's learning your style. So now you have a social media AI right there. There's a bunch of other social media posting tools where it'll have AI built into it, but the negative of that is it's not built upon a thread that you've loaded all the content in. So typically on your specific GPT that you are using, that you have preloaded information into, it's gonna give you better results. Now that was a good amount of work, but now you're kind of set up for success, right? And I hate, 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 hate 
writing social media posts. It doesn't feel authentic to me. Hey, check out this little paisan as he does. Blah, 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 blah. It's not for me, but you can say it and let it do the work for you. You can say, hey, make sure this doesn't sound too corny and it'll keep adjusting. If that's something you struggle with like me, now it does it for you. Additionally, it can create compelling emails. If you just wanna have an email with a photo that you're gonna send out to your list of followers, great, easy. But if you wanna talk about, hey, check out this new item, it's got this and this and this and this and this, it could do that ad copy when you have words in an email or a post that's called copy, it could do that for you. And then you can edit it. What I love AI for is to give me a framework. It is very hard to create something from absolutely nothing, especially when your brain is fried at the end of the day. But it is significantly easy for me and most people to edit something and to say, not that, not that, but I think we could do this with it and now we're good. That's what AI and ChatGPT can provide you on the most basic of levels. If this was just five years ago, for a lot of things in your restaurant, you potentially would need a technical writer. A technical writer is someone who has a degree in technical writing that knows how to write things in a very easy to understand manner without any grammatical problems and they could bullet things out. Typically, a technical writer will write manuals and standard operating procedures. This is a full blown job that does not need to exist anymore. Kind of sucks for them. Great for you. So when you buy a drill at Home Depot, all that manual, everything it said, that was written by a technical writer, not by a robot. Today, total robot. For you, if you're like, hey, here's how to do the produce order. And you're like, uh, make sure you log into this page and do this and do this and do this. It might be kind of hard to read. You can load it into ChatGPT and say, create a standard operating procedure from this paragraph so I can teach people how to place a produce order. Even better than that, imagine you do a video of you doing it on an app like Loom. So you take a loom of here's how I do the produce order, then take the transcript, the transcript of you describing it and put it into ChatGPT and say, hey, create a standard operating procedure of this transcript for how to do the produce order. It's gonna produce something pretty damn solid for you. You're gonna have to edit just a little here, a little there, and now you have a full blown SOP document to hand to this employee or the next employee or the employee a year from now of how you want the produce order done. And guess what you're not doing anymore? the produce order. That means you just saved some time, taught your staff, and up-leveled your restaurant, and it cost you next to nothing. Let's talk about the image features. There is ways with AI to say, hey, give me an image of a guy riding a Tyrannosaurus Rex that looks like Abe Lincoln while eating a burger. You can do that, it'll give it to you. You could use that for a fun social media image, totally easy, if that's your style. Or you might wanna come up with, maybe here's a t-shirt idea. Maybe here's a new logo we wanna mess with. Now, it's not gonna give you that art in a vector manner, at least not today, but it's gonna give you that art in a manner you could then edit yourself or try and use. Now you can try and print it as is, but for a logo in perpetuity, you're gonna want it in different formats than what ChatGPT could provide, again, as of today. So getting a solid base, which is what we always wanna use the AI for as of today, is a base of operations, a base starting point. It can provide that to you. If you're trying to describe something, it can provide it to you and give you what you want to then hand off to a designer to give you the pro version or take that image of Lincoln on a T-Rex and put it on a T-shirt and just call it a day because that'll work too. And on that whole technical writer front, there's just times where you need to brain dump your thoughts and organize them. Imagine you're gonna lead a meeting with all your staff and you have a massive amount of things you wanna cover. Just say them all, transcribe them and talk to text, put it in and say, give me an agenda based upon all these talking points of what we need to accomplish during this meeting. It'll give it to you. You can then print it, give it to all the staff. This is what we're talking about today. And it's there. And it didn't take you an extra hour and a half to format it on Word. It just did it. Here's some other random ideas of things that we've used it for at Andalini's Worldwide. If you're looking to come up with games, just, hey, come up with a game for today for what the servers can compete on. Whoever is the last one to sell this menu item gets a prize. Whoever sells the most of these gets something. That's a game. Sometimes you're like, what game are we gonna come up with? Say, hey, ChatGPT, here's a few examples of server games. I want you to give me 30 more and then organize them down to a calendar for the whole month of what game of the day we're gonna use. Now it just gave it to you and now you put it on the wall and you have the game of the day for the whole month to keep things lively and fun and to keep servers pushing forward. And it didn't take you 
any time and near no thought. Let's say you got a new menu item that you're super stoked about. Normally, if you wanted to make a press release to send that to the news, that would take a lot of effort. You probably need to hire a PR firm. You don't anymore. You could say, hey, here's our new menu item. Here's our restaurant. Ask me the questions that you need and give me a press release based upon this menu item so that I could send it to my local news outlets. <laughs> You just made a press release. You look legit AF, and now you might get a press story out of this for about 90 seconds on ChatGPT. Do you hate responding to reviews? Work on that, but you could take this prompt. Hey, GPT, I want you to take this review, this scathing, angry review, and respond to it, keeping in mind I want you to hear them out, offer them a solid solution, tell them you're gonna solve the problem that caused this in the first place and thank them. It can then take the longest of Yelp reviews from someone who believes that they are writing for the Chronicle and give you a good, good response that you can then edit and give back to them if you just don't have it in you to start writing from scratch at 11 o'clock at night, burnt out, but knowing you got a response to this angry review. It can help you with that. Not do it for you, but solidly help. I want to emphasize how little this scratches the surface of what AI will become. This is what you could use as an assistant in your restaurant today. Sooner than later, and I swear to God, sooner than later, AI is gonna compare all your pricing and tell you where you should order from and negotiate on your behalf of what you should be paying for. It's gonna to get to the point where it handles online ordering and reservations in a smarter way. As it starts to integrate into more apps and do more things smartly, it's gonna be a pain in the ass in some aspects and very helpful in others. And the more it grows, the one thing that's gonna remain constant is people are gonna want human connection and knowing that you are the one speaking to them. That's not going anywhere. Right now, if you call into a business and it has a phone that's an auto treat, you're like, uh, I gotta talk to this thing and not a real human. That's where the value of humanity is start to come alive until people prefer a lack of humanity, which you've seen yourself at Walmart and Target where you don't really wanna go to a checkout person. You wanna just be alone and get it done. There's gonna be both. People are gonna want human experience at experience-driven restaurants. You need to still provide that. So when it comes to AI answering your phones, it's gonna to get to a point where it could probably upsell better than your staff. And it's gonna be a real debate if you wanna use an AI human bot or an actual human person to answer your phones for you. Just scratching the surface. But what is not gonna deviate is the need for someone to triage all your tasks down, delineate it in a cleaner manner, and let you get to where you need to go faster with this person or AI bot assisting you. So make sure that you train the AI to know your brand, know your voice, know your style as much as possible, but still keep it human. And never let AI make you basic. Don't become a basic AI guy who just uses it and you can tell. If you see an email with an inordinate amount of rocket ships on it, that person used AI. Hey, make a fun email with emojis. The rocket ship, rocket ship, rocket ship. It's a dead ass giveaway that this person used AI. You need to be smarter to not give dead giveaways when you use AI. Hey, and if you found this helpful, if it got you a little bit further in life, Subscribe and like, and if you really want to game on, like if this is your time, this is your restaurant, it's the biggest thing you've ever done with your life and you do not want to half-ass it, you want to full-ass it, get with me at getunsliced.com. We'll check you out, we will see if it's a fit, and then take you with our community of badass restaurant owners to that place that you want to get to. Thank you and let AI be the thing that boosts your creativity, not the thing that inhibits it. And I'll see you on the next video.